SQL we will use to store our database. Word we will use to create the mail merge and Outlook we will use to send the email. Which way Outlook we will use? Which Outlook? Not the web one. In Office, there is a software which is known as Outlook. Outlook, it is an application. It can handle any kind of email, Gmail, um, Yahoo Mail, anything. Okay. So the prerequisite is your mail must be configured in this Outlook software, right? I'm opening my Outlook. My email is configured. That is prerequisite. What we are doing mail merge with assume that you have a 700 employee and you need to send all the employees a customized email like congratulations, you got promotion and your, you got increment, your increment is this much. Now increment value and new salary will be different for each participant. You want to customize email. So in a single step, you want to send 700 email, how you can do using all four things. Right now, I send and receive, I make it work offline because I do not want to send unnecessary mails, right? But whatever mails are there, it is available in Outbook. Just a minute, Outbox. Right now, my Outbox is empty. There is no mail in Outbox, okay? I will tell you in my exercise file, there is a mail merge and there is a sheet mail merge, okay? In this sheet, there is a worksheet mail merge where I have applied detail. If I have 400 employee, I will put the detail of my 400 employee. These are certain variable, account number, due date are variable. This is first name and last name, right? You can put as many variables you want. You can put as many detail you want to customize your email, but just simplified version I am showing you. So this is the worksheet. Mail merge is my worksheet name. And is if there are 700 data with a single click, 700 emails we will shoot, right? So how to do that? Mail merge option is, see, Excel will behave like a database. This option is available in a Word file. And step by step, you need to just go, a nice mail merge wizard is available. In this, in mailing option, there is a nice start mail merge wizard is available. Okay, you can start with email, envelope, anything, but I prefer you go with step by step. Each step, it will give you next line. Okay, so let me click step by step. Nothing but it is going in this way step by step until you get and reach at the finish. But all step will be provided by this wizard. First thing is you want to generate email. So I select email, go to the next starting document. Existing document I want to use. So start from existing document or not or current document. Existing means if you have P formatted word file, you can use. <coughs> I want to start in this current document. Go to the next. It is asking select the recipient. So where is your database? Where is the email of people whom to send email? So we will use the existing list. Let me go to the browse and select the Excel file exercise file and uh, somewhere mail merge and mail merge. Which seat was there? Mail merge seat was there. I click OK. It will show me. I can preview my data. It looks fine. OK. I can sort or filter data if required. I can find duplicate. If required, I can do that. OK. Let me click OK. So this tab has linked the Excel file with this word. How I can very sure there is an option of insert merge field. See, all the columns from Excel file is available now. So when I select the Excel file, it is linking both the files and all the columns from Excel file is available. Now it is saying write your email messaging so I can write my email message. Okay, let me write hello and first name, space, second name, last name, enter. Your payment is due for account number. Let me put a variable account number this. Since. Let me put a due date since this date due date this. Kindly make. 
payment on time right thank you any draft you can put any variable you can put it will come like this once it is done go to the next preview your email once i go there i can check my email first record is rasmika bird this is the account number and this is the date right i can check any record see next record is saying both the details is check this is hasmuk patel next record is for jitendra sa so certain record you can check otherwise once it is working perfectly it is done next is complete the merge so i just need to click finish the merge that's it and send email message once i do that it will take it will ask me what is the email address column so in my excel it will show all the column email address is a column in my excel that contains email address subject name like payment reminder i can keep and for all records or current record or from 1 to 50 record you can choose let me send for all records let me click okay and see here it will take some time to process or write that email once it is done my emails are gone see in my outlook now all six emails are there if there are 700 data all 700 emails will be available here let me open the email one any email that is for here at gmail.com payment reminder and the variable it will take will be for here only right and once it is there i have not given internet connection otherwise all this email i don't know whether this kind of email existing or not but if i'll make it work online all this email will be shoot right just to keep it in this draft mode i make it work this outlook as a offline so this way you can put 700 emails just using three software word excel excel as a database and outlook outlook requirement is only your mail must be configured otherwise automatically once you click finish it finish mail merge automatically all the mail will come in your outlook and if internet is there it will be shoot also right okay fine friends so this three topics which were pending i covered